hey guys welcome back to another video and in today's video we're going to be showing you guys how to make a website with unblocked games part two if you have already um do part one like the tutorial part one so you could get caught up and in today's we're going to add game pages uh full screens and all of that so i hope you guys enjoy this video like share subscribe and let's get started Alright guys, so the first thing you guys want to do is click on the settings bar in the corner and, and on the mode you want to put it on the side. So every page that you have would be on the side instead of on the top. If you guys like it on the top, keep it on the top, but in this story we're going to use it on the sides. Now the next thing you want to do is go into themes here and you want to add a custom one. The name is going to be dark mode. Click on next here and we're going to, where it says custom colors. Add them all to the dark mode, because who likes light mode? Click on next here, and then select fonts for it. Select all the, the font that you want. I'm going to use the Comic Sans. And there you go. Well, you're not done yet. Now click on navigation right here. Or actually, before you go to navigation, click on colors. Now background, put it to the black. Now next thing you want to do is go into navigation here. And one, one color, one scroll. Put it to the one that you want. I'm going to use that because my whole theme is going to be purple. And then we're going to use the shading here and keep the color at black. Now, how that's going to look like is oh, I don't have any pages yet, so I'll show you one of the pages. So the next thing you want to do is find the game that you want to add. So I have here Geometry Spot, a link in the description. Click on Activities right here. And then you, you want to use the game that you want. I'm going to use Cookie Clicker here and use the image content one right here. Now that I have it, I want to go add a page and name it Cookie Clicker. Now we have Cookie Clicker. I can show you guys how the navigation bar looks, which is all purple here with the home and the game that I have. Now time to work on the game page. You want to go to header type, and I'm going to put a large banner. Next thing you want to do is... I have a full screen button, link in the description. I'm going to hit Control A, Control C to copy the whole text. Double click, hit embed. Embed the code right here. And now where it says title name, just go up once on the bottom, AOC title name. I'm going to delete where it says title name. And what the title name is I'm talking about is here how it says Nebula. That's what the title name is. So I'm going to go into blank text.net, which would give me a blank text hit copy and then i want to go here hit Control v so that's what it's gonna be next thing i want to do is go up where it says url bra right here delete url bra and now add the your game url here and now that we have we have our full screen button now size it to what i want and then i'm gonna add the game that i have here insert my game and that is just one game page you can add here I'm um, I might just add like an emoji here showing what it is like I'm gonna add a cookie and there you go we have a cookie we I can also just copy all of this and put it as the name for it to look better and now what else you want to do to make it look better is hover over where it says new page add a menu selection and just add a lot of dashes like this. Hit done. You all want to put it in between the games in the like home button. So it'll like have a separator here. The separator here not looking good. So we'll delete a couple here. Still. Let me see how it looks like here. Has like a little extras. So like the extra here is I'm going to try making it look good. So guys, after you made it look good and added your one game that you added, it's time to test it. So let's test it out right here. So see, we, are, we have our game working here, playing full screen, and yeah, it all works. So now the next thing I want to do is show you how, how to embed a scratch game. 
So if we go on to scratch here, I'm going to go into scratch. And we're going to search up geometry down. Because we're going to embed Geometry Dash for today. Now, I know you can just click copy link here and embed. But that's not the right way in making a game. You want to go to the URL up here and type in embed. Take you to a whole another thing. Wait that for load. And now you have a whole page that you can embed. So you want to copy the link. You want to duplicate the cookie clicker page. And you don't want to delete the emoji area, you just want to delete the name and the text here. Then name it what you have. Mine is Geometry Dash. And for the emoji here, I'm just going to add like a square or whatever. Let's see. Um, uh, what if we have like we search up dash? What what is some related? It's not letting me search. So um it's not letting me search. Yeah, it's not letting me. Yeah, I'm gonna skip that this part. I got so now that I got my emoji here, click done here, and I'm gonna copy the text I just had and put it as the title here as Geometry Dash. Delete my previous game here, and then I want to go here, hit Control C for the URL, and you could embed it here. And the purple there would show that it's a scratch game and all that. Double click on full screen, scroll up where your previous URL was. Now delete that. And put in yours. Save. Now you have a scratch game. So that is the end of this tutorial. And next tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to add a request form. And all of that, like a request form. And then we're going to publish it. So I hope you guys like this video. Please like and subscribe. And make sure to watch part three.